All right, so just out of randomness, my brother comes into town and I thought, oh, what better timing to see if Hemley's engine is still okay because my brother is an ASC certified mechanic and he's dealt with rotary engines, BMW motors, everything, Toyota, everything. Now he's at Infinity Auto. So what we're gonna do right now is um, take off the radiator and then we just rented a fan clutch removal tool and hopefully it'll come off okay. So we're just gonna start um, recording our removal of this whole front assembly and see if we don't run into other issues. We're hoping that once we remove that and then start it, the sensors will be, or what do you think, it'll turn on and throw a code maybe? Yes. So see if anything's going wrong, we'll be able to see. Because we think uh, when it was getting redlined um, and it was running normal, it shut off maybe and went into a different mode. Fail safe. Fail safe mode. So I'm hoping everything is still good. So we'll see. Disconnected almost everything you can think of. Evacuated the refrigerant lines. Now on the fan clutch. Oh, nice. Your fan clutch is not going that tight. Shut it up. Really? Yeah, it, which is really nice. It's fine, like I said. And I need to it on. Maybe it jolted the way loose. What we can do though? Broke that pulley. We'll replace that. That one's got a nice little nick in it. And uh need what, a new belt. What else? New belt. Here goes nothing. We're about to see if the horses are still in there. Right now they sound like choking squirrels. Disconnected the fan. Yeah, I'm clear. Hold on. So that, the clicking I heard from right here. I kept shutting it off and it was getting close to being warm, but now that I know, dude, the amount of radiator fluid that was in here was a lot less than I thought. I thought it had cuts up here. I didn't know it was way down here, which means it could have. That's internal. So it's not sounding good. Uh, we think it probably dropped a seat, a valve seat, and uh, it's staying wide open because there's a, a clanky, clank, 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 clank. Would that be a valve rod going up and down, bouncing? So we're going to pull the head, or the cover at least, and see what we see. A little working blood. This is a sad night. A sad night it is. Uh, so uh, we think, since we can't really turn the motor over, that uh, something's in the lower part of the block that's blocking it, or something messed up in the valves is blocking it, keeping it from wanting to turn over by hand. So, um, so it looks like she needs a new engine, most likely at this point. 85% sure. Okay, so after pulling the oil pan, not seeing much under there. Um, we pulled the valve stem rocker arm and then looked down the valve um, for the spark plug holes and we can see metal in one of the pistons. So we're thinking that's like a valve seat or top of the piston blew up, something. And so now I think we're going to stay up late and uh, 
pulled ahead to get a look at this ugly mess. Come here, Mr. Head. Show us your pretty underneath. Came off a little easier than you thought, huh? Yeah. Holy hell. Oh, what is all that crap, Ola? One in the morning because he's stubborn and he has to find the issue. All right, let's see it. Oh, snap a doodle. Oh, two pistons. Oh, damn. Holy hell. Holy hell. Bye, Bye, engine. Bye. Oh, my God. Holy. Holy. All right, give us the explanation. What the hell? Is that the top of the piston? The top of the piston exploded. Yep, the piston broke. The engine and every got, time it came up, it kept chipping, huh? The, the engine got so hot that it expanded and broke off. Okay, so the valve seat sunk in. Point to it, Mike. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. Broke in, and there's chunks of piston everywhere. Watch this. Oh, damn. I'll show you right now. Where's that rubber mount? I kept turning the engine off when the needle is by redline, but it's not a digital meter, so it's not accurate. And I guess these newer engines aren't meant to run uh, anywhere close to the redline because of how well they're all programmed, I guess. Uh, the older engines, it seems like you'd always pull off the side of the road and let them cool down and run them again, like high tolerance, but I guess not these ones, man. So, is it on? This is on. Okay, we're good.